Inspiring conscious minds at conscious times. Welcome back to Troy, let's talk real. And I am Troy in this particular video. I have another unboxing and of course it's coming from a company that um, I'm not really sponsored by but that I really enjoy and that's Alien Gear Holsters. Uh, last week I did a video of receiving of uh, my first Alienware holster, the 4.0 IWB holster. This one is in the waistband holster, um, meant for concealed carry. I've worn it about three times, to be quite honest. And here is my Springfield XDX Mod 3 3.3. Um, the pistol was unloaded. As you can see, no magazine, no bullet in there, so the gun is not live. For safety precaution reasons, I had to do that. But like I said, I wore this about three times already. It's really comfortable, to be quite honest. Um, you know, and, and it wasn't really much printing, but then again, I don't wear a lot of tight fitting clothes and we're going into the winter season, the colder season. So it's going to be the hoodie season, the sweater season. So it should be even more easier for someone to conceal if they choose to conceal with this particular brand of holster. But um, we're not talking about the 4.0 IWB holster that I received last week. We're talking about the one that just came in today. And that is the Alien Gear holster, once again from the same company, but this is the appendix holster, as you can see. And basically you wear this in front of you, right? Particularly in your grind area or region. Um, that's not the only area you can wear this uh, appendix carry holster, but this is what the specific meaning and creation of this holster was meant for, for the carry in front of you. Now, I've never really been an appendix carry type of individual. Um, you know, I prefer, you know, carrying 430, you know what I mean, behind my back. Um, it's very comfortable in that particular area for me. So, uh, I'm trying to get used to carrying um, with an appendix holster, appendix style. Um, and from what I've heard, you know, I'm a pretty big guy. So, you know, a lot of guys that are fairly large shy away from this particular type of holster for whatever particular reason but you know if you if you got a real big stomach which i don't um then uh, this probably shouldn't be an issue for you but if you do unfortunately you're probably going to be very uncomfortable with this appendix carry holster but without further ado let's get into this shout out to springfield once again i love this xdx um I was looking forward to possibly getting the Springfield Hellcat, but the only thing about that is um, I've held it in my hands. I haven't shot in it, but it means a lot to me how comfortable the firearm feels in my hand. And if the firearm isn't comfortable um, in my hand, then I really don't see the point in personally buying it. You got to have, they got to be comfortable for you to hold in your hand, especially, you know, in a life or death situation. Uh, you know, you got to be familiar with it and it was just really too small. Now this XDX is, is um, my, uh, my 2 3.3 bow. It's perfect for me. It's perfect for me because like I said, I don't have a mag magazine in here at the moment, but the magazine that I do have is extended, extended grip magazine. So when I'm holding it, as you can see, my pinky would actually um, be gripped with the grooves that's in the actual uh, magazine making of that particular extended magazine. So, you know, it, it fits perfect for me in my hands, but then again, I got very large hands, larger than the average man. Let's get into this unboxing. This ran me 70 bucks. I ordered this on Amazon. Shout out to Amazon and Amazon Prime. I've been on your back lately, only due to the fact that um, y'all been canceling my orders, meaning I will order something, Amazon Prime style, and I would expect to receive it in two days. And the day that I expect to receive it, it'll be like it shipped, it's out for delivery. Then it's like customer refused item. And I'm like, how the hell did I refuse the item when you guys didn't even bring it to my residence? So, um, that happened about once or twice, but, um, let's see the here or there. But let's get into the actual appendix carry holster and here it is um like i said these are the modular series that um 
Alien Gear holsters have created. And what I mean by modular, meaning you can um, take this shell off and put another shell on it. Um, and you can wear it depending on the shell that you're putting on outside the waistband. So it makes it very universal to use these particular, um, this particular uh, holster. But like the IWB 4.0, it got the little knots and grooves right here, so there's really no tools required to tighten the tension and to collapse the actual holster itself. Um, so you can tighten here for retention when the actual firearm is inside of the holster. Now let's try that now. This should be a perfect fit, and it is a perfect fit. Yeah, this thing is not, oh, well. <laughs> I spoke too quick, right? So I guess I got to tighten the tension there, but it took some force for this actual firearm to fall out. But anyway, at any rate, you're not wearing the firearm upside down. You're wearing it like that, appendix style, in front of you. And that retention is a little loose, so I'm gonna need to tighten that just a little bit. I, I, I like it a little tighter than that, personally. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah, that's a little better. That's a little better. Actually, let me take this off. So, let me remove the firearm. See this little groove, this little uh, proprietary tool that came with the holster? And all, when you're done with it, you just clip it back there on the side. So, to tighten the tension, you just want to put the notch right in here and just turn it. Turn it like so to tighten the retention. And, and, and that's it. Really not much to it. It's not really rocket science. You just uh, put this back when you're done. Well, I can get that back on. Bear with me one moment. There we go. Okay. Boom. So there you go. And this is the appendix carry holster from Alien Gear Holsters. And this is the 4.0 IW, uh, IWB holster that I bought last week. I'm ready to go for this winter. It's going down 9-11. It's very important to carry concealed, especially in these times. This is a very hectic time that we're living in right now. And if you got loved ones in your life or you just want to preserve your life and make sure that you are prepared uh, for any circumstance, you know, I would recommend that everyone that can legally carry, um, you know, in whatever state that you live in, go through the proper steps and protocols by carrying legally, being licensed, right, to carry. And then you carry at the end of the day. It's not really a big deal. Obviously, you got to be very responsible when you're carrying. And, um, you know, like I said, man, there's nothing wrong with um, exercising your Second Amendment rights. That's exactly what they were there for. A lot of African Americans, we do carry, but a lot of us carry illegally. And most of the time, that um, causes us to have a lot of problems. But if you are a, a law abiding citizen, there shouldn't be no reason why you shouldn't be able to apply for a concealed carry permit in the state that you live in. I know some states are more stricter than the other, more stricter than others, and that's just what it is. But you know, if you live in a state that you can carry and they're not gonna hassle you, give you a hard time, yo, this is a part of, you know, um, I say being a man at the end of the day. You know, protecting yourself, self-preserving your life, and also protecting your loved ones and ensuring that they are okay and always will be okay. So I just want to show you guys my unboxing of my appendix carry. Holster from Alien Gear Holsters. Um, shout out Alien Gear. I didn't even show you everything else that was in the box. That I just assumed that it was the equivalent stuff that was in the other unboxing box. Obviously, you get another Allen wrench with a proprietary tool with a screw there. And this is another modular shell. Right? That you can actually, oh yeah, this is the outside of waistband. <laughs> so, if I wanted to wear the appendix and I wanted to, uh, you know, put this particular shell on with the release grip, 
this is the shelf for it and this is extra you can look at this as an extra free item because um normally with other brands they would have you pay for another shell um but i like that this is going to come in handy especially when i want to carry um you know outside the waistband if you go into the gun range or something like that you know you have yourself a day and you'd be well prepared when it comes to that but I won't keep you guys. This is Troy, let's talk real. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share the channel, especially if you're a gun person and you believe in the Second Amendment rights. Until next time, peace.